is Lucky Stiff and is performing now through September 20th at Arizona Broadway Theater. We're fortunate this morning to have some of the leading cast members joining us to tell us more about this awesome yeah. show that you've got going on over there. I want you to meet Seth Tucker. You play Harry Witherspoon. Good morning. Good morning. And Trisha Hart Ditsworth and you play Annabelle Glick. I do. And I found out at break that we have an ASU <laughs> alumni and a U of A alumni and I don't know. It's a rivalry, <laughs> for sure. So, Seth, if I bumped into you on the street and you said, hey, I'm, I'm starring in Lucky Stiff, tell me, like, if I didn't know anything about it, how would you describe it? We like to describe it as Weekend at Bernie meets Pink Panther. <laughs> so it's sort of this story about a man who dies and he leaves $6 million to his English nephew. And under the one <laughs> restraint that he has to take his uncle's dead body to Monte Carlo for one last good time. And they're being chased by someone who's after the money. And it's sort of like madcap farce, mile a minute musical. It's, it's a little bit different than a musical comedy, but it's, it's more, um, it's like a intense. It, it's fast, it's heightened, <laughs> yeah. it's really funny and um, great music. And your character, Harry Witherspoon, I mean, here you are, this shoe salesman, right? And it's just kind of like going through the day, like, oh, I wish something wonderful would happen. And then you get the news yeah. about this. And, you're, and the, the adventure begins. Yeah. OK, so then, <laughs> Trisha, your character, Annabelle Glick, tell everybody about her. Well, she's really kooky and crazy. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun because I think a lot of the times I'm offered roles that are, are very much in a box. You know, you're an ingenue or you're a leading lady. Well, Annabelle Glick is a leading lady who is also crazy. She's just, <laughs> she's a lot of fun. She's spunky. She's very determined. And I really love playing her. Well, and this is such a, a you know a comedian role for you too. Mm -hmm. And so explain your relationship with Harry and how the two of you meet because this is interesting too. <laughs> well, I don't want to give away too much. I know, yeah. but <laughs> we definitely butt heads immediately. And she is a representative of the Universal Dog Home of Brooklyn. Oh. So she wants that money because if Harry doesn't um, fulfill the will he, the money will actually go to the Universal Dog Home. So they are very much at odds at the beginning of the yeah. show. And then how did you know, because you meet like on a train, right? And how did you know that, that here he is and that he could be the keeper of this $6 million? Well, in the plot, it doesn't really say exactly, but I think that... Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to hear this. <laughs> I think that she has found out all this information because she is absolutely determined to get that money. So she, you know, hired a private investigator. She loves the dogs. She's very intense. Very passionate. So, yeah. And then at one point now, the two of you kind of connect. It's like this, you're, you're, you're not supposed to be together, but yet somehow you get together. Well, you'll have to come and see. I know, happens. am I? OK, I'm giving it all away. <laughs> all right, all right. The biggest showstopper, in your opinion. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> the doors. That yes. was fantastic. Yes. Yeah, there's a scene where there's eight of us chasing each other through eight different doors, and it just it's one of those things where it keeps going, and it gets like more and more intense, and the audiences go crazy. And the timing, it's got to be just oh, yeah, exactly. in order to do that. <laughs> Three and eight. That's what we always remember. Three, Three and eight. I love it. And now the director that you're working with. Evan Pappas. Yes, tell us about him. He is just fantastic. Yeah, he's someone who I've admired my whole life. He's a Broadway star, and he's been in uh, my favorite year on Broadway, Parade on Broadway, recordings I've listened to my whole life. Mm -hmm. And he was the original Harry Witherspoon in the first regional production, which was at no Old Main, way. Maryland. Yeah. Oh, so he's wow. He's got a connection. He's the recording I've listened to of this since I was little. What an honor. And he, this is his first time actually directing the show. And it's, it's got to be just so neat just seeing, I'm sure he tells you, I'm watching it through my eyes of what I was doing yeah. as Harry originally. Yeah, I mean, we're, we got the stories from like, you know, how they started with, with the composers, the writers, just like, he, um, yeah, it's been an insight to a show that I've never had before, really, mm -hmm. because he was there from like basically the beginning of this show. And he has a love for it, and he has a love for theater, and for, yeah, yeah it, it's been a, that was probably the most 
like the special. most special part of the mm -hmm. doing the show actually you know and this this show is is may not be as familiar like top of mind oh, to yeah. people as other shows are but yet people who see it they walk away and they just they want to see it again and they just absolutely love it talk about that well it's not your typical show you know, if you're wanting to see a carousel or an Oklahoma, you're actually going to expand your horizon of what you've seen in theater because farce is a very special style. It's heightened. The, the actors have farce. to be very precise. The timing has to be perfect. And it all is this giant, I mean, the ensemble in this show, they kill themselves. They're running off stage, quick change, they play six characters. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's such a special style, and it's something that you don't see a lot. Yeah. Well, in the ensemble, too, aren't they also kind of talking directly to the audience? Like, this is, you know, kind of, we're filling you in about where we're at right now. Yeah, sort of the beginning of each act, there's sort of like a Greek chorus where we're sort of, like touching base. It, it brings in a lot of different elements of different types of theater too. It's really a very clever piece that, you know, it's not uh, the golden age. It's not one of those traditional mm -hmm. shows. It's, it's actually, I think, different than a musical comedy too. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like a very special type of show and it's, you don't get to see it very often. No, and you know, again, inviting everybody out to Arizona Broadway Theater. The name of this show is Lucky Stiff and it's performing now through September 20th. And Arizona Broadway Theater, in case you've never been there, it's just down the street from Peoria Sports Com uh, Complex. It's very close to downtown and around the corner from Arrowhead Mall. And it's part of the P83 Entertainment District. For more information or for tickets, please visit azbroadway.org. We'll be right back with more of the Morning Scramble.